Hey guys, Legendary here, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today, I'm rocking the new setup, I'm rocking a new haircut, and I'm also rocking Motorcycle in this new Season 13. That's right, in this meta, Motorcycle honestly is doing much, much better than the last. Especially with Skeleton Dragons receiving that damage nerf, this deck is going to be just that much more effective, especially when you don't face those Skeleton Dragons every other game. So, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and hop into some ladder matches and try and push up to about 6,000 trophies in this early season. Alrighty, so this match here against Zuko from the Clan C, our dream team. Good luck. And starting off here, we're going to try and cycle back to our NATO as fast as we can. That way, if he gives us a King Tower activation, we can obviously take advantage of that. So... There's that. He's going in with a Ice Wizard, which is giving me Ice Bow vibes. So let's go in with Ice Spear here in case he Teslas. And looks like we are against Ice Bow. So, uh, obviously not a great matchup. Let's go in uh, with this in case he decides to Tesla right there. And then we're just going to go ahead and log this back. And then go in with Skeletons up high. Archers as well uh, should hopefully take care of that Tesla. Maybe we can get one more to hit onto the tower, but I think he got that Ice Wizard down in time so well played right there and i'm just gonna go ahead and go in with another mortar like so he'll definitely have uh troops to distract but uh not too big of a deal he's back to tesla as well so uh yeah there's no point in supporting that mortar anymore uh let's go in with a tesla up high uh let's log that knight back i also get some chip damage as well he played that tesla in a position where it's kind of uncomfortable for him to play expo in the uh in the right lane so i think i'm safe oh never mind look at that the moment i think i'm safe i just uh, uh i just jinxed myself so let's go in with archers up high uh, unfortunately, I had to, otherwise the Expo would get chip damage, and that's just a no-go, especially when you're against Ice Bow. Ice Bow, such a difficult matchup. They can just sit back and spell cycle you out, and there's, there's just nothing that you can do about it. So, yeah, minute 20, basically, you're just trying to keep up with his Expo. Uh, make sure you always have that rocket in hand, and then let's go in with a Mortar off the lane like this. So, let's go in with an Odd Knight here. Or maybe, okay, I didn't predict a, a Tesla, but, okay, 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 uh, let's go in with uh, Skeletons right there, that'll keep that Ice Wizard in range, hopefully, no, unfortunately not, and this match just went pretty south here, um, I think this is out of range of that Tesla, okay, it is, great, uh, but yeah, he'll just go in with an Ice Wizard right there, um, Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, hopefully we can... Ah, unfortunately he got the knight down there. Uh, okay. So let's go in like so. Skeletons as well as an ice spear right there. And we're going to actually switch lanes here and go opposite lane. But yeah, this is not looking great. Uh, let's see here. Let's go archers like this. Log as well. We'll finish off that ice wizard. And hopefully that's a mortar lock onto the tower. But it looks like... Uh, not. Um, so yeah, let's go in with a mortar off the lane. We do get a mortar lock on the tower. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. And, uh, okay, that's actually enough to put us in the lead. So that's honestly really great. Uh, let's go in like this, and then go in. Ooh, we played that really bad. Mistimed it. I wanted to get the expo to lock onto the knight. Uh, and then I went down, and then go in with those archers. But it looks like, unfortunately, we kind of screwed that one up, didn't we? Uh, okay, so let's do this. Let's do that. Uh, as this as well. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and log this. Uh, that'll hopefully get everything in range uh, so that the mortar will splash onto everything. Uh, let's go in with a knight down as well. And, okay... Okay, okay, so let's see if we can sneak something in here. He went pretty aggressive, so let's see if we can... Come on, yes! Let's go, let's go, let's go. That is a mortar lock on the tower right there. Let's go in with a knight in case he goes in with a Tesla. And looks like we forced out a rocket right there on to our troops. So going into triple elixir time, it is spell cycle time. So we're gonna go in like this, go in like this, go in with uh, like that. Um, I can't even commentate. What am I doing? Okay, uh, let's go in with a knight like this. Um, we just gotta cycle back to an expo, uh, to a rocket and then a log, and that is actually going to be GG. There we go, taking down Icebo. Whew. 
this matchup is always such a tough one. But as you can see, uh, you just have to sneak in a couple of Mortar Locks, and as long as you're constantly rocket cycling onto his Expo, uh, you're able to mitigate any offense, and then when he starts rocket cycling, then you can turn on your own offense and then bring his tower down to maybe two or three rockets. Alrighty, next up against Leo Rio from the clan Machine Machine Esports. Alright, good luck to him. That's a cool font, by the way, uh, with a clan name. Uh, but yeah, starting off here, uh, we're just gonna be chilling. We're just gonna be chilling here, uh, seeing if this guy wants to make the first move, but we're just gonna go with an Ice Spirit here just to get the game started. Unfortunately, a bit of bad timing. Uh, he goes in with a Bar Barrel in the same, uh, in the opposite lane, but, uh, ooh, okay. So Ice Wizard and Bar Barrel. Probably either, okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. That is a King Tower activation, uh, prime King Tower activation moment right there. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to go, uh, like this, we're going to keep dragging that baby dragon towards the center, and then we're going to drag it in the center. Come on, please retarget. Oh my god. But King Tower activations are so, like, inconsistent right now. This is why I hate, like, the new tornado. It's, it's, uh, it's just so inconsistent. Uh, okay, but anyways, looks like we aren't even against graveyards, so, uh, well, that was just a waste. <laughs> um, uh, oh, that's, oh, man. Okay, well... Hmm. Uh, okay, so his tur uh, his baby dragon's out of cycle, so that's like literally the only thing going for us here. <laughs> so let's see here, let's go ahead and tornado here, and then go in with a knight. We're going to get ourselves that king tower activation finally. And, okay, let's go archers as well. Hmm. Okay, uh, his bar barrel's out of cycle, so let's go in with skeletons in front of those archers, and yeah, force out an ice wizard right there. Uh, just make him spend elixir uh, to actually defend the pushes, and uh, yeah, as we head into double elixir time, he definitely has the golem in cycle, but I think I'm still gonna mortar here. Uh, okay, no, he's gonna go in. Oh, the goblin cage, okay. Uh, okay, this is not great. Uh, so let's go in like this. Let's go in with archers as well. He's definitely going to golem. Oh, Night Witch right there. We're going to rocket that I had for sure. And let's actually go in with another mortar here. And we're just going to pull that golem all the way to the other side of the arena. Well played with that fast reaction right there. Uh, let's see here. Let's go in like so. Uh, log as well. We're going to get ourselves that mortar lock. Uh, I'm not going to use a mortar. Uh... Ooh, oh, I should have... Mm, mm -mm, this is going to be tough. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and rock it like so. And then NATO all this stuff back. Uh, go in skeletons and then a log just to continue mitigating that damage. And okay, that's actually going to work out really well. Uh, it's We're about to hide in damage here, but okay. So let's go in here with a mortar up high. Uh... See if we can sneak something in here. Uh, let's go in with this and skeletons as well. Let's go to tornado this golem backwards. Uh, uh, 859. One more mortar hit. Ooh, we do not get it. We do not get it. Okay, so let's go in with a high knight here to avoid any lightning. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know how much the golem's going to do. Golems do so much damage. Okay, so here we're going to... Okay, he's in a goblin cage right there. We have to protect this mortar and get it locked on. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to do this and then tornado those out of range. Uh, and then now we just need to send in that rocket ASAP. Come on, there we go. I don't... Uh, does lightning do enough damage? Oh, my gosh. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> Taking down golem. Lightning. That matchup, again, another insanely difficult one. But, yeah, just by, you know, using some smart tornadoes and some smart kiting, we are able to break that down. Alrighty, so this match here against Diego XXT from the clan Nova Y Love. Good luck. Starting off here, uh, yeah, pretty chill here. We got the tornadoes, so we're gonna wait and see. Uh, wait and see if he's gonna do anything, but looks like he's not, so let's just go ahead and cycle some of our stuff here. It's gonna cycle his log right there. And yeah, first 30 seconds, pretty, pretty chill. Uh, let's cycle our log. And I wonder what he's using. Uh, not quite sure. I don't know uh, too many cycle decks that run the log. Maybe it's a hog deck. Uh, 
If so, that would be a great matchup. Uh, but yeah, let's go with uh, Ice Spirit up high. Ooh, bad placement right there, my bad. And, okay, so... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe Balloon. Yeah, probably Balloon. Most likely, my guess... Okay, no. Uh, I was gonna say he probably had Executioner or something, because that's what most decks with Valkyrie carry. Uh, oh, no, it looks like we're just against, like, Ice Bow or something. Uh, okay. Uh, well, that's not great either. <laughs> um... But, okay, we do have a Surviving Ice Spirit there. Uh, we do have a Surviving Archer, so let's go with the Ice Spirit there. Uh, force out a big response from him. He had to play a Valkyrie just to take all that out. Uh, and then we'll just go in with our Skeletons up high, like so. Archer's in the back, making sure we always have our Elixir for a Rocket. And, and then we're going to go in with another Mortar, like that. Uh, I don't think he has Tesla in cycle, so, okay, he's gonna go in with an Ice Wizard right there. Uh, he might be, oh, no, I missed, didn't I? Oh, my god, rip. Okay, but let's go ahead, Archer's up high, DPS down that Tesla as quick as we can, and, unfortunately, he cycled back to his, uh, his Valkyrie. So, as we head into double Elixir time, uh, he'll probably play his Expo soon. Uh, I can't imagine him waiting too much longer. Uh, the question is, what spell he has? So let's go in with a knight up high, and looks like he's going to go in with that expo. We're just going to rocket that out. Uh, no big deal. Uh, let's go in archers up high. Let's predict the Tesla right there. Looks like we do, so that is pretty nice. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. He's going to have to spend more elixir defending that, or that mortar's going to lock onto the tower. Unfortunately, note looks like he's got an ice wizard down to distract. So let's go in here, another uh, defense, uh, another mortar. I mean, and then let's go in with center archers. Uh, oh, did do we? Okay, we do actually predict that Tesla. Yay! There we go. Uh, and ten seconds left in regular time, right there. Um, let's just continue cycling here. Uh, okay, he's gonna spend a lot of elixir right there. I think I'm just gonna go in with. A, uh, a, a rocket here and then go in with a defensive mortar like so uh, okay so we're gonna go in with ice spirit uh, right there as well as a log and that's gonna actually pretty much take down that expo there we go oh my gosh that expo just straight up goes down and uh, yeah things are looking pretty decent we have a rocket back in cycle and looks like he's just gonna rocket again so uh, we're just gonna do the same thing uh, go in with our own rocket. He's uh, we're ahead on rocket damage right now. Let's go ahead and predict. Oh no, uh, it's gonna knight down in time. Okay, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. We predict that expo right there. And uh, let's go in with a mortar right there, like so, just to finish it off. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, NATO back to get some extra chip damage, and we should be good in that front. So going into triple elixir time, now we can pull out the double rockets. I think we have the, the spell power to do so. 1406, definitely, we are good, we are golden. Uh, so yeah, let's go in like this, cycle back to our rocket, cycle to our log right there, and looks like that's going to be another win against Expo. So as you can see again, uh, just, just continue to distract that Expo, and just keep, make sure you always rocket their Expos, and then eventually once they start getting aggressive, then go aggressive yourself. Alrighty, next up against a Japanese player, good luck to him, and starting off here, uh... Let's see here, we're just gonna wait for him to make that first move, like usual, but if not, then just cycling our stuff. So, skeleton's right there, log, and yeah, it's gonna be another pretty chill start, probably against a bit of a heavier deck, which is why the opponent's not doing anything right now. It's going with a knight that usually forces something out, and looks like he's got an ice wizard. So let's go in with a mortar like so. Barbell right there. Let's go with the ice spirit. Okay, looks like we're probably against uh, uh, graveyard. So as you can see, this skeleton placement will actually split the skeletons. So the baby dragon will take two hits to finish off those skeletons like so. And yeah, we do have some surviving archers right there that'll get some chip damage onto the tower, or he'll have to respond to that. So. Uh, looks like he's going to use the tornado. Interesting. So let's go in with a knight here. And as soon as, the, uh, as soon as that knight walks up, 
Gonna go in with our mortar like this. See if he's gonna give us any rocket value with the knight. Looks like he is, so we're just gonna go ahead and rocket that. I think the knight's gonna go down as well. Uh, mortar's locked onto the ice wizard. Let's go in with an ice spirit uh, to distract that. And then let's go ahead and log skeletons right there. Uh, should finish off that ice wizard. And we have a mortar locked onto the tower. Uh, I think that's just going to get one hit. Maybe two if I'm lucky. But the mortar man just so slow with those shots. So it looks like one hit is all we are getting. So pretty solid start right here. We're going to have to keep up the aggression here. Uh, okay, he's going to go in with a baby dragon. Uh... I could just rocket that. I think I'm just going to rocket that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mortar might still... Yeah, I think it's just going to get one hit onto the tower, just like last time. Uh, but yeah. Uh, okay, he's going to go like this. He probably's got a bar barrel or something. Oh, Mortar gets two hits. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, and then double extra time. Things are looking pretty decent. Uh, okay, sweet. Uh, let's go with skeletons, like so. And then go in with another mortar. See if he's going to give us some rocket value again. Uh, we're just going to rocket that, like this. Uh, and he's back to his stuff. So let's go ahead and go in with a knight here to distract everything. That mortar's going to once again lock onto the tower. Skeletons and ice spirit down to distract all this. Good stuff. Uh, let's go in with a log, like so. And... Yeah, that's going to go pretty well right there. Let's go in with another mortar here. Ooh, bad timing, bad timing. He's just going to, yeah, we're going to have to let that one go there. Uh, and yeah, his tower is down to two rockets, I believe. So, uh, so yeah, <laughs> um, that's what, that's what's going to happen here. Let's go wait till that baby dragon locks onto the knight, and then we'll go in with our archers like that. Oh, this is kind of tough. I'm in a bit of an awkward situation because I, I don't know if I should rocket cycle. I don't think I should. But, hmm, okay, uh, well now we're gonna rock it, he's gonna send in a barbell right there, uh, and, okay, so archer's up high, let's go ahead and cycle our skeletons like so, let's get another knight down, oh no, oh no, okay, we're gonna have to send that rocket in ASAP, pronto, pronto, please send in, please send in, give me good RNG so that graveyard doesn't decimate my tower, and there we go, taking down graveyard. Uh, relatively effectively. As you can see, I wasn't afraid to use that uh, rocket on offense right there, and that really, really paid dividends for that matchup. Alrighty, next up against Lucas Danger from Toxic Squad. Okay, uh, oh, and he's gonna go hog first play, and that is a great sign because we can just get ourselves a King Tower activation. Uh, hog, always a good matchup. I mean, obviously it depends from variant to variant, uh, some can make it pretty close, but we usually have matchup when we are run uh, when we're facing hog Because we have the tornado and no matter how fast of a cycle the opponent has we can usually cycle back to it And he usually isn't able to out cycle our tornadoes or our mortars like we got two counters to hogs right there like that and Okay, so looks like we're gonna be against an interesting hog variation. He's got Okay, he's got an ice wizard so it's like a splash, a more splash based. Let's go like this in case, oh, okay. Well, uh, let's see he's got bomb tower. So it's like splash, splash hog. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it, splash hog. Uh, so let's go ahead and NATO like so. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and log that ice wizard back as well. Hopefully that'll limit the ice wizard to just one hit. All right, I'm, I'll take that. And then let's go in with a mortar. He's got an ice golem in cycle, so I'm just gonna, I think archer's up high like so. Uh, let's try and DPS that down. Uh, he's gonna go in with a mega minion like so and as you can see that's gonna force out an ice wizard on his end I don't think that mega minion is gonna get a hit, but we're gonna go in with skeletons just to make sure uh, I don't want to throw away this game um, With just one like mega minion hit because uh, cycle matchups are all about chip damage uh, when you're just against other cycle decks oh Man, it, it can get really sketchy because you're just trying to out chip your opponents all right, so we're going to hog that to the King Tower, and now our King Tower is the lowest of all our four towers, uh, so we're going to have to start being a little careful here uh, with how we defend everything. So, uh, okay, he's just going to bomb tower that. Uh, unfortunately, not much I can do there, uh, but well, yeah, let's begin rocket cycling. <laughs> oh, do we hit the Mega Minion? Please hit the Mega Minion. Oh, come on, we were this close. All right, let's go archers here. Uh, and let's see what big spell he has, because if this does not uh, um, force out a big spell from him, I don't know what will. Ooh, bad play right there. Uh, okay, well, 
Uh, let's go in with a mortar on defense like this. He's probably back to hog at this point. Oh, looks like he's running rocket as well. So let's go skeletons like so. Uh, we're gonna take a lot of damage right there. That was really bad. That was really bad. Oh my god. <sighs> All right. Hmm. I don't know what to do. We don't know. I don't know what to do. Let's go in with a mortar. Uh, a, a log right there like so, and we should be fine. Let's go in with our rocket like that, but he is ahead, so... Ooh, this is gonna be sketchy. It's gonna be sketchy. It's gonna be really sketchy. Really, really sketchy. Um, okay, so let's mortar. And we're just gonna have to use our fast cycle here, so... We need to just rock it. We cannot afford to do anything else. Uh, we just need to outcycle him. But he's got an insanely fast cycle, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. Uh, let's go archers up high. Come on. Oh, he's got rot. He's got it in cycle, I think. Uh, I think Hog does can't one shot, so we're gonna let that Hog get one hit. Ooh, let's go! <laughs> Ooh, that was that, that was a little sketchy. Uh, Hog decks with Rocket uh, are the one one variant that can can make these matchups really really close. But yeah, managed to sneak it out in the end there. Alright, so there we go. As you can see, pushing up to 6,000 trophies on ladder. Top 500 in the world, which is not too shabby for this early season. But unfortunately, guys, that's all I've got time for in today's episode. Huge thanks to all of my channel members. You guys are the absolute Gs. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel. And as always, this is Legend Array, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.